Aim to separate plant pigments by paper chromatography. Materials required Freshly plucked leaves Pestle and mortar Chromatographic paper Pencil, scale Conical flask Acetone and petroleum ether Thread Scissors Slide Measuring cylinder and a stapler. Let's start with the experiment. First, we'll take the chromatographic paper and cut it into a strip. From the pointed end of the strip, above 2 to 3 centimeter, we'll draw a line. We'll leave it aside, then, we'll take the freshly plucked leaf and we'll grind it into a paste with the help of pestle and mortar we'll finally chop it first and then we'll grind it to a paste we have to add a little quantity of acetone into it while we are grinding it Now with the help of a capillary tube or a dropper, we will place the plant extract in the middle of the line that we have drawn on the chromatographic paper. Let it dry for some time and then we will put another drop over it so that we obtain a thick drop. Now leave it aside for getting dried. Take the conical flask, add petroleum ether and acetone solution into it. Then take the chromatographic paper and with the help of a stapler, tie the thread at the other end. Place it in the conical flask and cover it with the test with the slide and leave the setup for some time undisturbed. After some time, we'll notice that the solvent rises up in the chromatographic paper and it also separates the pigments of the plant extract. We, have, we can see on this chromatographic strip the different pigments have separated. Paper chromatography. Aim to separate and study plant pigments by paper chromatography. Materials required fresh spinach leaves, chromatographic paper, water number one, a conical flask, chromatographic chamber, slide, mortar and pestle, petroleum ether, acetone, beaker, pencil, scale thread and the stapler. Theory. Chromatography is a technique used to separate molecules of different substances present together in a solution according to the rate they travel along a chromatography paper. Different substances travel through the medium at different rates and are separated depending on the medium. Solvent is allowed to flow along the paper sheet. Solvent spreads the different compounds on the mixture of various substances. Different plant pigments can be separated by using the technique of paper chromatography. Procedure Grind a few spinach leaves with about 5 ml of acetone in a mortar and pestle. Take a narrow strip of chromatographic paper and cut its one end in the shape of a narrow notch. Put a drop of the pigment extract in the middle of the strip 2 cm away from the end with the help of capillary tube. 
allow the drop to dry and repeat till four or five drops are placed on the paper take the conical flask and add about 5 ml of ether acetone solvent in the ratio 9 is to 1 now hang the pigment extract loaded chromatographic strip in the conical flask with the help of a thread in such a way that the loading spot lies about 1 cm above the solvent level. Make the cork airtight and place the test tube undisturbed for some time. When solvent rises about 3 fourth of the strip, take out the strip carefully and let it dry. Observation the dried chromatographic paper strip shows four distinct pigment bands. Different leaf pigments can be identified by their colors. Measure the distance of each pigment band from the loading spot and also the distance traveled by the solvent. Calculation RF value of each pigment can be calculated as follows. RF is equal to distance traveled by the compound divided by the distance traveled by the solvent. Pigment, color and the RF value. Carotenoids, yellow color, 0.94 is the RF value. Xanthophils, yellow, 0.71 RF value. Chlorophyll A, dark green, 0.65 is the RF value. And chlorophyll B gives yellowish green color and the RF value is 0.45. Result, uppermost orange yellow band corresponds to carotene, the yellowish band below it marks the xanthophylls, the third from below above dark green band represents chlorophyll A. The lowermost yellowish green band is that of chlorophyll B. Precautions, spinach leaves should be fresh and green, the loading spot should be small and concentrated. The loading spot should be placed 2 to 3 cm away from the tip of the notch. While hanging the strip in the test tube, the loading strip should remain about 1 cm above the solvent. The chromatographic paper strip should not touch the walls of the test tube. The chromatographic paper strip should not be kept in sunlight. Viva questions. What are carotenoid pigments? Name the type of carotenoid pigments. What is the difference between chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B? What is acetone ether and acetone used for? Why the chromatographic paper should not be kept in sunlight?